In June uh, 2015, actually, we uh, got uh, notice of a fantastic project for the arts community and for communities in, in general. The project was uh, sent out to invitations to organizations towards the end of 2016 uh, that we heard the great news that uh, Quest Art School and Gallery was awarded with uh, nearly $60,000. Good afternoon and welcome everyone. I'm Karen Mealing, Director of Quest Art School and Gallery. And I'm very happy today to officially announce the North Simcoe Canada 150 mural project. This exciting large scale community art project will see four murals created, one for each of the towns of Midland and Penetanguishing and the townships of Tay and Tiny. In the next couple of months, the community, including children, will be invited to share their ideas and thoughts about what reflects their municipality and what should be included in the murals in the context of Canada's 150th anniversary of Confederation. So for this project, QuestArt has hired local artist and muralist Ruth Hurdle to lead as our project coordinator. I'm so excited that we've, Karen's been successful in this grant. This is going to be a great opportunity for our community. It's going to join all four communities together. Hi, I'm uh, Jerry Marshall. I'm the mayor of the town of Penetanguishene, and I'm also the warden of the county of Simcoe. Canada 150 uh, coming up as a, a special day, a special year, a special time. You know, here in North Simcoe, you know, we celebrate all four seasons, summer, winter, spring, fall. It's a great, unique uh, spot in Canada. Uh, my name's uh, Jonathan May, and I'm one of the Midland Town Councillors here in Midland, Ontario. We have a rich history of uh, public art in the area, especially with the murals uh, in downtown Midland. It's becoming very iconic, so it kind of extends that. Okay, so what is it all about? It's a large-scale community building mural project. So each community will determine what they want to see in their mural. That's what we're doing tonight. Uh, community painting days where the public will get a chance to help paint. Murals will be installed in each community for Canada Day 2017. Okay, so who's involved in this? C citizens from each of the communities. Children, teens, adults, seniors. We want everybody. Four lo local schools will be involved, so one school per mural, and where they're involved is in the Maple Leafs, that's what the, we're going to take into the schools. So what images will be re represented in our murals? Landmarks, landscape, industry. People, current, historical, francophone, indigenous, events, past and present, and then what makes your community unique? So it's pretty wide open. Lois Green will be the assistant on the project. So she's another artist, so we'll be working to figure out, yeah, how it's all going to flow. My name is Lynn Morton and I was born and raised in Midland and I'm very interested in the murals that are going to be done for the 150th Canada celebration. 
I came this evening hoping to see what was going to be done as far as the compilation of uh, the mural, um, what it would cover past and present, because I think it's very important for the town of Midland to be represented from in the past and in the, the present. For me it was important to participate because I've lived here all my life and I have seen so many changes in our town and I'd like to make sure that some of those changes that are no longer here are represented in the mural. Not just our present but the past because it's the past that really did make our town what it is today. My name is Nicole Jackson. I'm the curator of the Penetang Chain Centennial Museum and Archives. Uh, I found it important to be here just because I do have a lot of uh, knowledge of the history of Penetang Chain and I wanted to come here as a resource as well as someone that was interested to see what anyone else thought about the history of Penetang Chain. This 150 project is really exciting for me and it's really nice to talk to different people that maybe I don't see at the museum to see what they think that uh, Penetang Chain represents and what they want to see in a mural that's going to represent our town um, for 150 years. Uh, I know in my mind I was really stressing the culture that we have here, uh, the Francophone, Anglophone, as well as the um, Aboriginal history, and also to see them so excited about all these different things that happen in the music, in the, the town throughout the years, and everybody seems to have pride in history. Like, I just assume because I work at a museum that it's only me that has pride in Penetangian history, but coming here tonight I realize there's so much pride for everything that happened here in Penetangian, it was really nice to see. Okay, you guys are going to need, we'll need four murals just for Midland for all this stuff. I can't go to the other communities now. Okay. Yeah. My name's Gary Burgess, and I've been coming up here since the early 50s. My grandfather was born and raised in Victoria Harbour. I own the uh, Village Mercantile store, the old company store, and I'm offering the wall to put the mirror on. I like the history of the town. I've been coming up for years, and with my grandparents come, you know, being born in this town, you know, I just, the history, and I have a lot of good memories in this town as a kid. My grandfather played for Montreal Canadiens as a goalie on the farm team and his cousin Giroux, Freddie Giroux, and my, my, uh, his cousin played for Montreal and went on to coach the Chicago Blackhawks, Ty Arbor. I think it's really nice, it's quite nice for the history of the town. You know, it's going to look nice, you know, in the three areas that they're doing them. I want to thank everyone for coming in. Yes. I really do. Yeah. This, is, this is exciting stuff. Uh, and, and I think we did, when I when we went to the, when the announcement was made, uh, we were looking at, you know, where do we put it? You know, obviously you want it someplace that is prominent, okay? I think the input session went really well. We had some really key players in there that mm -hmm. um, really brought a lot of knowledge to the meeting, so that was really yeah. helpful. You mean in the yeah. final thing? Things have to flow. They have to um, be visually pleasing mm -hmm. together. Um, there has to be areas of rest in a painting to give your eyes some rest. Mm -hmm. So once I get that flow, I had a meeting with Lois the assistant, Lois Green, and I asked her opinion of it. And we have an indigenous component in here too that I decided to put, we wanted to put the seven grandfather teachings in there. Well, Lois had the idea that they would look really great in the sky. 
let's put those up in the sky because they're spiritual. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was a great idea that, I mean, that just naturally comes to my mind too. Just like the Little Lake Park flows into Midland Harbor, that goes together. Um, also the location of things in the town. The Cenotaph was near the old Midland Curling Club. So I wanted those things to kind of be together, almost like a bit of a map the Cenotaph, the Curling Club, and Little Lake Parks in that part of town too. So those three work together. Instead of Photoshop, I start cutting and pasting images and I've got, if I can't find an image that I like for it, I'm rough sketching. I love this part. It's a challenge, but it's a fun part to see it all come together. So I've been leading a teen art program for this my third year here at Quest and I've got quite a great group of young people here from the local high schools. So they're coming into art class today and the, the um, activity we'll be doing is painting on the mural today. And they've been looking forward to this for two years. Uh, so excited to have this project, to have an opportunity not just to do one, but to do four murals in my hometown. It's fabulous. That's a once in a lifetime. done a mural before one time so I figured that since Ruth was kind of leading this project we would be participating in painting it. <laughs> Right here I have like a woman in a hijab to represent like Syrian refugees and stuff and then people of different races because Canada is pretty multicultural. Then I have here like people, oh I smudged it, um, people with like different gender partners because people, because um, there's different sexual orientations too and then different religions and stuff and an interracial marriage because Canada is very multicultural. I think it's important that like everything related to different religions and races and stuff should be added because 
Canada has a lot of different types of people. Um, well, it's pretty special because there were only um, 13 kids selected out of all the schools in Pantanguishi. So it's like, wow, I, I'm selected to do something. by um, this little one over here, Emily's mom, who uh, just said that this project was happening and would we be interested in being included? And I said, absolutely. So we were, we jumped right in after that and here we are. It's a very um, great energy with the uh, students here. a couple of months now and I can honestly say the response from the community has been incredible. Right. I drove up the other day before we covered it up and just let out a big wow. 